let's kick this review off then. This is a three shot version, pump action. This is just on a shotgun certificate here in the UK. You can get them on firearm certificate with uh, the extended magazines. Uh, the extended magazines will let increase the capacity of this shotgun to seven plus one. And I'm sure you can get other mags that will fit it uh, to stretch it out probably to uh, 10 plus 1. I know that's been done on a Hatsan MPA. The Field Hunter has a nice recoil pad, kind of like a honeycomb style. Also comes with some spaces so you can adjust the length of pull just by uh, taking out these screws here and here. Easy job to do. Fits me all right. Anyway, I've got kind of long arms, and uh, it does fit me okay. But it's a fairly plain um, recoil pad. Nothing really to write home about. Synthetic stock, again. Simple, ambidextrous. Checkering on the pistol grip. You are supplied with shims so you can uh, straighten the, uh, the rake of the gun out. I did actually uh, straighten it out because I'm a lefty and it was uh, cast a little bit to the uh, for a right hander and I just wanted to straighten it out a little bit for myself. So that did uh, do the job. There's your release for the uh, for the uh, forend pump. Need your two pins to take out the trigger group. On the top of the receiver you've got 11mm scope grooves. Just in case you want to add a scope or some sort of optic or even a light if you're doing lamping. Trigger's okay. Fairly crisp, I'm sure it'll uh, wear in a little bit over time. Cross bolt safety. Aircraft alloy receiver. There's your loading gate as well. Nice positive uh, spring loaded. I prefer it myself personally if that was just one solid piece of metal. I think they've cut that groove out just to save on, uh, on weight. And then there's the polymer pump or forend. Nice and chunky that thing is. You've got your nickel chromium barrel, nice rib along the top of there, and like a black adenized finish. Take down knot, it's nil, just make it easier to get a grip on when you're out in the field if you need to strip this gun for any reason. This gun has been safety checked by the way, and just take. Take the barrel off like that, it's easy enough. Try and get the camera in focus. Easy enough to add an extra magazine to this gun just to extend it to 7 plus 1. I really wanted to do that to my Mossberg 500. Uh, I thought, yeah, I can, because uh, it's only three shot, I thought, right, I'm going uh, to extend this mag and really sort of turn it into a tactical looking shotgun. But I discovered, and I'll show you right now. Here it is, Mossberg 500. I really wanted to turn this into something special. But when you take the nut, let's uh, just unscrew this off camera because it's really quite tight. When you undo that takedown nut, becomes obvious then that you can't fit a mag 
because of this knot. If you see what I mean, it's just welded onto the uh, onto the barrel, and there's no way you get a mag tube through there. Whereas on the uh, just for comparison, on the Escort, see what I mean? So I was pretty gutted when I discovered that on my uh, Mossberg 500. I was pretty wounded. The guy, the uh, the gun dealer, said uh, basically you'd need a complete new barrel. So that kind of scrapped that idea. But I still might do something with this Mossberg 500. Uh, I don't know. Might even cerakote the whole thing. We'll see. But now back to the uh, the field hunter. That is a, a good idea, that how they've done that, you know, it just it leaves you an option to extend the magazine rather than just having a standalone three shot shotgun which is, you know, you can't possibly do anything with if you wanted to increase the mag capacity on it. So that's an optional extra. Maybe one day, well definitely one day, because I think I'll end up sort of uh, turning this uh, shotgun into a bit of a tactical beast. There's the end of the magazine. Nice chunky steel rails there for the pump to run on, and you literally just Slide everything out. And there you've got your bolt and ejector there. Dead easy to get at and clean and maintain. Nice and chunky and heavy. Good to see that on a gun. Well, not necessarily heavy, but I do like to see on a pump action especially, just nice chunky rails there. So it doesn't matter how hard you slam this gun when you're actuating the pump action. You haven't got to worry about anything failing. Always keep the rails on your pump action greased up. Slip 2000, frog lube, anything like that. And there's the receiver. Nice to get in there and give it a good clean out every now and then. Together. Dead easy to field strip. <sighs> Try not to drop the field strip in knot. There we go. Back in action. You might have seen the video that I've done with this where I was uh, using slug shot at 50 yards shooting uh, zombie targets, that was good fun. And it's fairly accurate just using this gun with the, the front bead sight and just looking down the rib of the barrel. I was quite surprised really. Um, you can actually uh, soon fit um, a front sight on there that would be easy enough if you it depends what you want to do with it you know if you're shooting slug and buckshot through this thing you know if whatever you're hunting or whatever you basically you're using it for you can soon adjust this gun easy enough to cope with whatever you want to do with it some of the options you, uh, you can get as well 
got uh, Power Sands catalogue here. This is the Field Hunter, this one we're looking at here. Do it in the in the chrome version, that does look quite cool. Marine grade chrome, stainless steel. All the different camo jobs as well. Mossy oak. Plenty of options for this. Great waterfowling gun, definitely. I'll just show you uh, some of the accessories as well. That's what I'm talking about with the the recoil pad, where you can adjust the uh, the length of pull. Those spaces. Barrel extensions, sights, loads you can do. There's a uh, mag extension tube, turn it into 7 plus 1. Extra full choke. I must admit, my, my preference, especially when out in the field, is extended chokes that I can just make sure are tight with my fingers because it's happened to a friend of mine where his choke had come loose and he took a shot and blew the end of the barrel and that was it, his barrel was done and that's because the choke had just worked loose slightly and with these extended choke tubes you can just pinch them up whenever you like you know uh, just to make sure whenever the gun's safe so that's my personal preference anyway yeah, they do some good stuff, Hat Sando. You can go for the expensive options, like anything really, you know, get the, the nice wood and the autos as well as the pumps. They look nice. Bit of engraving on there. Slug automatic guns. Back to the field hunter. I do like those camo versions. They are nice. So is that chrome one. But as you may know, I own the uh, hats on MP MPA, the sister or the big brother of the field hunter. Awesome bit of kit. Absolutely awesome, and again, great value. Check out the door buster. Oh, yeah, that is badass. Got to be done. As far as customization goes for the Field Hunter, the only thing I'd probably do myself is just put a bit of grip tape in this area here the fore end just to give you just that extra bit of uh, grip. I grip tape the MPA on the fore end just to give a bit of extra traction. It also looks good as well. But again it's down to your preference what you're going to be using this gun for if you're going to be out in the field in all types of different weather you might want that extra bit of traction. The average weight on the Field Hunter, depending on what size barrel you've got on it, you're talking about 6.8 pounds. In the catalogue here, it shows you with the uh, sling swivels, but this UK version I've got doesn't come with the with any. I think if you're a big fan of the Escort MPA, reviewed by the way, 2011, go check out the video then you'll love the Field Hunter it just complements it beautifully just a great little shotgun Just I really cannot fault it as, as far as the, the cost of it goes now if obviously if I was paying eight or nine hundred pound for this then yeah I'd have a few complaints as far as uh, quality goes but for two hundred pound I'm more than happy with uh, with how this gun performs at the look of it and 
the quality for for what you pay for it. Also a great platform maybe to uh, do a custom job on. Maybe if you want to get it Cerakoted, do something a bit special too. A good platform, a cheap platform to do that with. Probably my only major gripe with this gun is the bore end release. I really hate where that is and I hate the size of it as well. For a start it'd be nice if it was behind the trigger. I mean, check out the uh, Mossberg for comparison. That's where it uh, 4M release is there. And then this one on the uh, Field Hunter. It would be nice if they put that behind the trigger. Easier to get at. Especially for a lefty. Definitely a good water fouling gun. Especially in the camouflage options that you can see in the catalogue there. If you wanted it as a home defence shotgun, obviously go for the shorter barrel. Maybe fit one of these true lock door busters on there, just to give it that tactical look. Just show you the proof marks on there. Tested 12 gauge, 3 inch magnums, 76mm shotgun cartridges. Like I said, it'll take slug, it'll take butt. Obviously just be choke aware when you're firing slug. Just bear in mind though what you're getting for your money. You're not getting a high quality shotgun. It's definitely not high quality, but it's rugged, it's robust, it's durable. As ever guys, thanks for watching. That's a rack and low review. See ya. Oh.